Good afternoon everybody, it's Thursday, today we're a wee bit later just with circumstances and things happening today. Still got the roof people, but hopefully they will be finishing up within the next hour or so and that will be all the hammering and buying stopped. So I um, hope everybody's doing okay, hope you got your waste kit weekly last night if you get it. Uh, and I hope if you don't get the waste kit weekly, let me know and I can tell you if there's any news about anything or anyone. So just my daily reminder this week. <coughs> but sorry about the service on Sunday. Remember, on Sunday service will start at 10 to 11. I just don't want anybody to see that they didn't know, even though it's the same as that every year. So we have been reading through Acts, and we are going to finish Acts chapter 8 today, and um, reading from verse 26 is Philip and the Ethiopian official. An angel of the Lord said to Philip, Get ready and go south to the road that goes from Jerusalem to Gaza. This road is not used nowadays. So Philip got ready and went. Now an Ethiopian eunuch, who was important official in charge of the treasury of the queens of Ethiopia, was on his way home. He'd been to Jerusalem to worship God and was going back home in his carriage. As he rode along, he was reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Holy Spirit said to Philip, Go over to that carriage and stay close to it. Philip ran over and heard him reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. He said to him, Do you understand what you are reading? The official replied, How can I understand unless someone explains it to me? And he invited Philip to climb up and sit in the carriage with him. The passage of scripture which he was reading was this. He was like a sheep that is taken to be slaughtered, like a lamb that makes no sound when its wool is cut off. He did not say a word. He was humiliated and justice was denied him. No one will be able to tell about his descendants because his life on earth has come to an end. The official asked Philip, Tell me, of whom is the prophet saying this, of himself or of someone else? Then Philip began to speak, starting from this passage of scripture. He told him the good news about Jesus. As they travelled down the road, they came to a place where there was some water, and the official said, Here is some water. What is to keep me from being baptised? The official ordered the carriage to stop, and both Philip and the official went down into the water, and Philip baptised him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord took Philip away. The official did not see him again, but continued on his way, full of joy. Philip found himself in Azotus. He went on to Caesarea, and on the way he preached the good news in every town. Amen, and God bless this reading from Acts chapter 8, and we will move on to chapter 9 tomorrow with the story of the conversion of Saul. So, I hope everybody's doing okay. We had a lovely afternoon yesterday at the Craft and Hobbies. Um, I forgot to tell you about that yesterday, so it's on every Wednesday. If you've got a craft or a hobby, you're very welcome. If you don't have a craft or a hobby, we'll get you one. There's no hub today because it's on every second week, so it will be next week. Um, and apart from that, I think that's really about all we have to say, uh, because uh, we will be back tomorrow, and we will see you then. Bye.